Hey, fish heads. Good morning. Jen Cravasi, and I'm joined by the beautiful Molly Brown. She's with me today in the studio. She's a big one. She's getting bigger every day. When are you going to stop growing, Molly? So if you hear any groans or grunts, it's coming out of this one. It's kind of like living with a deer. <laughs> She's almost as big as a deer. She's a good girl. Let's get you guys in the uh, tripod cradle here. Hopefully you're having a good week. We've got a few pieces this morning. I might piggyback this on a tips and tricks. I'm in the middle of filming two spray sessions, one of which is your pick, which I will announce as you might have already seen the spray session by the time this airs. I'm not sure. Um, the Dwarf Garami, by far, was actually it was close. It was between the Dwarf Garami and the Yellow Watchman Gobi. I'm probably going to get that in because that's the really cool one, too. Um, not Neither are very difficult patterns. I would say that probably the Dwarf Garami is a little bit more difficult because you've got either some free painting or hand-done stencils that we're going to do. Um, so anyway, stay, stay tuned for that. It's a sleepy morning. It has been raining for the last couple of days here. We've got thunderstorms scheduled again for this afternoon. And it's the second day, thankfully, that I have not had to water the garden. So the garden is huge. Um, if you guys are interested in seeing what I do on a day-to-day -day basis, I know some of you have expressed interest in the past. Um, and I try and throw some, some different things about my day-to-day -day life that's not all encompassing in the studio. Um, yeah, I don't mind at all. I, in fact, enjoy showing you guys that stuff. I'm going to grab a glove here since we're going to show off some baits. And get right into it. I've got, uh, you guys are seeing a couple of dark pieces. And sorry about that. Just kick the camera seems to be something I do on a weekly basis only because of tight quarters at some point it's inevitable I and I've already outgrown this garage um, I'm gonna need like a legit studio workshop um, just the production has, has gotten to the point where I, I need a little bit more and I also want to step separate my computer stuff from my airbrush because that's never fun and it, it kind of gives a little bit uh, less life, shelf life to the to the laptops and desktops because of all the atomized paint running through the air out here. I'm going to start with this little guy. Um, featured this a couple of days ago on Facebook, and it is a stencil overlay from uh, Anarchy Model UK, Brian Best. Some blue eyes, got the red, white, and blue theme going on on this one, red mouth, and a true blue, it's an ultramarine blue, very transparent, and opaque white. And yes, you can get white to shoot really, really well at lower pressures if you reduce it just a little bit. So probably to one of those medicine cups half full of white, I've added four drops, if that makes any sense. But I really like the way this turned out. Love the eyes on this. These are the eyes from Lower Parts Online. They are chrome eyes. You can pick them up. There's a description that has a link to just about everything that I do or everything that I purchase online for the, for the shop and bait painting. And then also, we've got these little guys. Now, this is part of a 40-piece that I got from Tim over at Crossroad. Thank you, Tim. I always give a shout out when I paint on them or use them. This is going out to a client um, in, I want to say Indiana, Indiana, Illinois. Ah, one of the two I states, three. I know there's more than two, um, but either Il Illinois or Indiana. I cannot remember which one. Um, cool little also stencils by Brian and just a, a little gill pattern, those green sunfish. Standard yellow eyes, the yellow eyes probably are sixth sense and coming from Tackle Warehouse, which if you didn't know, also sells eyes and accessories. 
um, from time to time. So if you're in a pinch and you want something shipped quickly, as long <laughs> as long as it can get to you quickly, um, you can get it from Tackle Warehouse. And if you purchase more than $50 worth of stuff, they will ground ship it for free. So there's always options to try and leave you guys um, multiple solutions uh, right here in the States that you can order from. Of course, my go-tos would be uh, Matt at Dead Meat and John over at Jetson. This, um, somebody was saying that I came in and looked yesterday at this layout. They're like, oh, this is the only green one. There's the, everything else is blue. Um, green is a combination of blue and yellow. So technically there's blue in this as well. And actually there's quite a bit of blue as you see that holographic flash. But this is a red-eyed crappie, the green tent on it, which I like very much. Just a fun little, and I tell you, these, these lipless, you can use them all, all, if you have open water, you can use them year round. That's one thing that I love about the lipless. Um, they're not picky and they swim very well, whether the fish are cold or they're warm and lethargic. I had a couple of these, so. This is one of a six piece going out to David H., and he asked for a custom pattern that was black on the top, blue veins on the sides, black on the bottom. And when I did the wrap, it's a mesh wrap, so you get really cool spiderweb type veins in it. Um, when I did the wrap, I really liked the way it looked with the wrap all over. And he's like, nope, nope, it's got to have a, a solid profile line. He's going to be fishing these at night. And uh, when I and I've I've done similar patterns like uh, on the hot tuna, but not this dark. And he also picked out the eyes. I gave him a choice of eyes to pick out for it, and he went with the blue, which I think was an excellent choice. I did three on these gill through poppers, and then three on some XDs that he chose because he wanted to run deep. And he's night fishing, and apparently this is killing it for him. So we're not going to divulge what lake he's slaying them on, but this is what he asked for. So this is what you get. I will meet my customer's needs when you guys want a pattern. Um, I enjoy being able to be creatively independent in the pattern, but when you guys drill down and say, nope, I want it done this way, or could you add this? I listen to you guys and I will do exactly what you want. And I got to tell you, it came out fantastic. He even named this pattern for me as Midnight Madness, which I'm cool with. It looks really good. Um, but Midnight Madness makes me think of bowling when I was a kid. Uh, remember the rock and bowls when we used to be able to socialize and stuff? It was great. Um, this is a really cool pattern in that KBS shine. I don't care what your base color is underneath, KBS is going to shine through. So that is my shameless plug for them. Um, they do not sponsor me. I have a partnership with them, um, and I get some some testing from time to time done on their new formulas. So, But I do. I stand by their product. I love their product. It has worked very well for me over the past four years. Um, and somebody did mention, I, I'm sure it was on one of the Facebook feeds because there's so many different forums and formats these days, um, that it was a great product, but you really had to be doing a lot of product and production for it to be, um, for it to be useful for you guys, for it not to harden up. And I can see that point of view. So I'm not going to disagree with you on that. Um, but I also think that there are ways that if you store it properly, which I have done because I, did, I wasn't always high production. I started out just like all you guys did. And again, I haven't had the issues that you guys seem to have or some of you guys seem to have as far as storing it and transferring into the glass jar. This is that pattern on the XD with those blue eyes. So that is what I've got for you guys this morning. I'll show you one more just to show consistency in the pattern. And if you're looking at this iridescent shape and color shift right here. It's not really a shape shift. It stays on form. Um, but you can see that it's dark blue. And I'll try and get it better under the light. And then as you shift, you get that metallic 
color change, that color shift, that's also going to translate when you're running this through the water. And that's really key, uh, especially if you're night fishing. Because what is, what is that going to do? It's going to kind of mimic fish scales as they're going through the water because the least little bit of light refraction is going to show up, even in the darker conditions. But I love the way these came out. Really happy with them. So that is what we've got for this morning's. And this morning being whenever it is you guys watch the video, you might not watch it in the morning. You might watch it noon, night, weekends. But thank you for stopping by the channel. I'm going to get back to filming the Dwarf Garami. And then I've got another cool one as well. And I'm not going to tell you what it's for. Cheers. Happy casting. We'll see you on the next one.